In this how-to video, we're going to review Construct. We're going to start by looking at constructing planes. I've selected that top surface and dragged the plane upwards and keyed in a value of 20. You can see the plane has been added to the construction folder. Then we'll try plane at an angle. Often better to view this side on. Then I can drag that around and let's key in a value of 39 degrees. We're creating these planes because in the original body, there were no planes to create the next stage of our design, typically creating a sketch on that plane. Let's look at another one. This is tangent plane. Perhaps we're drilling a hole normal to that surface. Currently normal, but I can change the angle. Let's set it back to zero. And again, turn off the visibility of that plane. Next one is going to be mid-plane. Rotate that around, select the two planes, and we now have a plane right through the middle. So if it's an awkward size, that's a very good way to uh, solve that problem. Then through three points. Now it may well be that you have to actually construct points before you do this. I'm using the existing corners of this uh, box. Turn off its visibility. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the body and turn on the visibility of a sketch that I created. This is a spline. And I'm thinking of using either the sweep or the loft and I want to create a sketch normal to the end point of this spline. That's a little bit awkward, but playing along a path solves that problem. Now, depending where you click, it's either going to be close to zero or one. That's the overall length of the spline. So I changed that to one, so it's right at the very end. I could now go ahead and create the sketch on that plane. There are other options as well. As well as planes, we have axis and point. And you may use a combination of these to create the plane that you want.